This Tuesday was Halloween, and you can't have Halloween without a good scare. The spooky season isn't complete without the telling of ghost stories, but as we all know, the best ghost stories are the true ones. This week, we looked into creepy and unexplained stories from people's lives. We heard from students and faculty about their experience with unexplained, seemingly paranormal activity. And remember, it's all real. All right, this is my spooky paranormal activity story. All right, so it was a regular day, just a regular day. And you know, it's like midday, maybe around 1, 1.30. And me and my sister are in my room with the door wide open and, and with the long hallway and down the stairs, just trying to imagine it in your head. So we're sitting in my room right in the doorway. We're singing, we're goofing off, we're home alone, having fun. But then, so we're facing each other and the doorway is like over there. In our peripheral vision, we see this black shadow run across the hallway and we both pause. We are laughing and we pause, we're like, did you just see that? Did you, are we crazy? Because if you saw that, then I saw that too. And we both saw the same thing. We saw a black shadow run across the ha hallway. When it's both people that saw the same, that can see the same thing, it's true. There's spirits in this world. It was a dark and stormy night long, long ago, and I was just a youngster and I lived in this house with my father, and you know, <laughs> it was a little bit of a crazy house, a little abnormal, you could say. The usual cold drafts and slamming doors and you know, unexplained noises in the attics. And one day, my dad's friend was coming over and my dad had expressed his fears to this friend. He was saying, I live in this haunted house, I, I just can't take it anymore, I'm so scared every night walking through these dark hallways, I, I feel another entity in this room when I'm sleeping there. He's genuinely hearing noises. There are genuine noises in this house, slamming doors. And my dad assumes that it's only his friend causing these strange happenings throughout this house this day. He Because he told his friend how scared he was to be in this room and how scared he was to live in this house with his kids. And he assumes his friend just pulling a prank on him because that's the kind of friendship that they had. He just thought that it was normal, but it turned out that his friend had actually never arrived and he saw his car pull up later on and he comes inside his house, greets my dad, daps him up, you know, the usual. And come to find out that all these noises he had been hearing that entire day weren't his friend trying to prank him. My stepdad's mom grew up in Utah, outside of Salt Lake City in the mountains and would drive up the mountains every now and then, go for a hike, you know, go skiing, whatever. And one time she got stuck in a snowstorm and she was planning on going on a hike, but she had to come back down because it was snowing and there could be avalanches or other stuff like that. So she's driving, she has a friend in the car and she gets halfway down the mountain and she sees this woman standing on the side of the road with her thumb out like a hitchhiker. And they obviously like want to pick her up. So they open the door and get her in the car and she sits in the back seat and She's like, thank you so much. I was really nervous. I don't want to die. I don't want to get hurt. They drive a little bit further down the hill. They look back and she's gone. They're like, what, the, what happened? Like, we didn't open the door, nothing happened. And then they drive further down and they see her again. And this time they're like, we're not, like, we're not picking her up because that's weird. Like, we don't know what's going on. And so they keep driving and a giant pile of snow like comes out in front of them and they get stuck. And their car is stuck in the snow for, I think, a few hours. And then eventually they make it out but over the time that they were stuck in the snow, they kept hearing like scratching on the windows and on the doors. And that's my spooky story.